G'day guys, it is Sam here from the Menza channel and today we are back here with another weekly review sort of thing. I still don't know what to call these, um, short people can help me out on what to call these. But the big thing this week was Melbourne versus Brisbane. Was it a mark? Was Her Eric Hipwood's grab at the ball? Was it a mark? You saw it in the thumbnail. Um, but uh, yeah, the umpire called a no mark. Now, I don't know if that's true because if you do look at the photo um, on the thumbnail, it's a bit suspicious. It looks like he grabs it. Um, but I think at the end, the umpires made the right call. But it's just one of those things we'll never know because, you know, everyone will have a different opinion about it. Um, but, you know, diving into other things this week, I mean, of course, it was a one-point win. Jake Melksham kicking the winning goal. Collingwood beat Fremantle, uh, yeah, very convincingly. It was really disappointing for the Dockers. UCAT was not happy about it. Um, future of the Dockers and the future is a Pierce at captain. Um, yeah, I, I think it was pretty much a bad call from the start, putting Pierce in captain. I know Haz doesn't think it's a great idea to have Pierce as captain, of course. You know, you're downgrading a bit from one of probably Fremantle's greatest leaders of all time. Probably not the greatest, but up there, Nat Fife. Um, and, um, yeah, disappointing end for the Fremantle Dockers. Gold Coast beat St Kilda in a huge upset at Heritage Bank Stadium. Um, Saints falling short as of late, and I think now they're equal with Bulldogs and the Crows, so it's going to be interesting to see how this week plays out. Carlton beat Port Adelaide at Marvel Stadium. Huge game. Um, and yeah, Port Adelaide, they just didn't stand up to the occasion. The Blues were on. Martin, uh, Silvani, and Motlop kicking four goals in a quarter was nuts. Uh, one of his best games this year, or if not his best game. This year, it was huge for Motlop getting down to the category where the Dons really, they just got showed up. Um, they didn't really do much at all that game. Um, and, yeah, the Cats were really dominant. Uh, bring back that, um, you know, kid in your park sort of thing. You know, they do not lose there. Um, and this year, they have been losing quite a few games this year. But it's good to see that they brought that back. And now they're in finals contention um, after pretty convincingly being out of it. The Crom uh, got beaten by the Giants. So the Giants now also a real contender. So this top eight race is absolutely huge. And the Giants, I think, are probably leading it, to be honest. If I have to be honest, the Giants are on fire at the moment. Heading on to the Sunday games where Hawthorne took, my mighty Hawks took on the Kangaroos. And it was just one of the worst games of the round, I think. Um, coming off some pretty exciting games. That was just, it was just an awful game. Uh, but the Hawks got the win. Um, so yeah, that's that's always great uh, to get a win. And West Coast Eagles versus Richmond, Richmond by thirty eight in a convincing win. But um, yeah, Eagles with a bit of a fight, a bit of a fight back. And also this week we've had the talks of a wild card round, which means that uh, so yeah, nine and ten play in seven and eight, and you know whoever wins, it's a it's really messy. Um, no one really knows what it is. It's, it's uh, No one really understands it or why they're going to add it. Um, there's not really any need to add it, I guess, to make finals more, you know, exciting, bring in the crowd. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know why they need it. I mean, it just makes something so simple, so complex. It's a bit stupid. They're really just trying to milk out all these rounds, you know, gather round, um you know, wild card round. Um, and it's already a long season this year. I think it's been one of the longest seasons ever. And, you know, just to extend it and to add something we don't need, you know, teams work very hard for the seventh and eighth spot. And this year it's super exciting. And, yeah, I just think it's a bit stupid to add a wild card round. Let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, on the wild card round. Basically what I'm saying is no, I do not agree with it. Um, and if, if it's Gillen making up these ideas, you know, just sack him now. Uh, yeah, just get rid of him now if he's going to do all this wild card round bull honky. Player of the week this week is Dan Houston. Um, even though in that terrible, terrible loss to Carlton, he still racked up the 41 disposal. So congratulations to Dan Houston. Wins the Men's Player of the Week award. And... If we're just looking at the Coleman medal, Charlie Kerno taking back the lead by one goal. 51 goals to Tex Walker's 50. Tom Hawkins following close behind with 45, equal with Nick Larkey. 
We talked about this a bit last week. Teams dropping out of the eight. But last week, we didn't talk about teams skyrocketing into the eight. And this week, well, it's been the Geelong Cats. How huge was that? Going from, I think, 10th or 13th or something up to bloody 5th. They're now in top four finals contention. Although it is going to be very hard for the Cats. What a huge effort from the Cats uh, from where they were at the start of the year. They lost three games in a row all the way up now to the fifth position. Um, and, yeah, it's just great to see. I love it also more because it means St Kilda got dropped down a couple more spots or I think one more spot. So that's always great to say. You know, here I'm not a big fan of St Kilda, but I, c I can't help that. I cannot help that at all. I'm also not a big fan of the Cats. So all, all in all, it's a lose-lose situation. Also, guys, thank you so much for all the support on the Trade Rumours video. There's one coming out on Thursday at 4.30. Thank you all so much. Um... Yeah, it's my best video ever, 1.5k views, still growing. Um, yeah, just want to say thank you for everyone for supporting me. And I guess that is it for this week. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you all later.